what I'm going to do, just give you a brief explanation before we get into actually doing the project, uh, we're going to actually disconnect this fascia. And, you know, this is a difficult decision to make because essentially this is a finished scene, so you, you never want to break it. After we've created the back wall of the quarry, the thought process here is to actually take these, cut them up, and to attach them to the back wall to create the look of rock granite that's being blasted. Window of opportunity is pretty limited here. Okay, let's pour this Sterling Models mold and hopefully we've got enough plaster of Paris here to it's around between gluings the better the glue is hotter flows nicer maybe my glue guns okay after all you just a little patience another method for slowing the plaster down the curing process apparently is vinegar um, I did try that a while back and I didn't find that it so to have it intense in one area and then dissipate and flood the area uh, with less and less intensity as you go down. So you can see just by a couple of spots of color here. Just a few nice pieces to work with and we'll also put a couple of pieces here in the foreground, get those glued on. Then we'll take our, uh, our knife and our tools here and we'll uh, do a little bit of carving and keep the vacuum at the ready. We want it to be at very, very stiff. We've got an entire bucket of this stuff. Um, if you don't use it all, you can store it. Just put a lid on it, seal it up, and, it, and it'll stay like this. I even Now, if it gets too tacky on the surface and you're finding it that your fingers are getting messy and it's hard to position the material, simply dunk your fingers into some water and just kind of, you know, the, the, the side going away here, which is not towards the quarry. So most of the growth, or the, you know, the remaining, the trees that we're going to put in here are for the most part going to be from about we can go ahead and sift this down later with a larger strainer to remove some of this real big stuff this medium coarse uh, medium grade material is really what we want but it's like nice to have a variety of sizes of uh... okay i think that's probably all i want to do for now I'd also like to take the edge of the chisel and just create some blasting marks some straight up and down